Sometimes it is good to pray uh, when the occasion demands. So we took the time that was meant for worship today and we decided to pray. Uh, we believe that the anointed servant of servants of the Lord who are anointed to lead us in worship will ask their God to have mercy on us for taking their time that they will not curse us, but they will bless us. Can I hear an amen? amen? Did you appreciate your neighbor, someone who's sitting next to you? Did you thank God that they are your neighbors this morning? Did you know their names? I'm aware we want to behave to come condo. You're only concerned about yourself. Did you find out? Move to two or three people. Don't just, this is why some of you are not married. Because you never get to find out who sits next to you. <laughs> you don't find out their names. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm so uh, glad to see. That should be Elder Mike. Elder Mike, allow me to bring you to these blue seats here. Because I would want to see your face as I preach. Uh, together with Mama. Hallelujah. Uh, please. Uh, Please, hallelujah. Somewhere here? Yes, mama said somewhere here in the, in the black seat. The, there are black seats, two black seats here. The, the blue seats, yes. It had been preserved since the foundation of the earth was laid. You know, Elder Mike looks like uh, he's 18. But he'll soon be a grandfather in case you didn't know. Hallelujah. This is what we call excellence in God. <laughs> we celebrate you. How many of you, this is your first time to be in the sanctuary since Christmas? This is your first time to be in the sanctuary. Stand up on your feet so that we can celebrate you as well. Stand up on your feet. This is your first time to be in the sanctuary. Please, let's appreciate and celebrate these guys. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We celebrate you. Please be seated. And I did say, ensure you know someone who is close to you. Why do you always sit like we are scared of each other? Praise God. This is why some people are not married. Because you are single, the sister is single, tell the sister you look beautiful, you look wonderful. the sister is single, tell the sister you look beautiful, you look wonderful. Tunaeza ongea nyuma ya hema. Ata tushukuru mungu tuko kwa hema. Apu wale nyuma ya hema tunaeza ongea. Abada ibada. Praise God. Hallelujah. And Moses got married and he's in church for the first time as a married man. Please, Moses and your wife, stand up. Uh, let's celebrate and appreciate Moses and his wife. Just remain standing. I know there are people here who are not married and they are jealous at the same time. How many of you can tell there is a change in Moses' life after he got married? He's not looking the same brother. Let's appreciate them. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We can also celebrate Licky's coat. He has a very wonderful coat. Praise God. It's called a jacket. Please let's appreciate him. Amen. Glory to God. And to our mother, the only, now listen. The one who feels the anger when it is the hottest, when ministry is making me angry, the first member who feels the heat is this member here. Please, let's appreciate mama and celebrate her this beautiful morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. What a mother in Zion that God has given to us. We celebrate you. We honor you. We appreciate you, and we don't take you for granted. Um, you do so much behind the scenes. We bless the Lord for you. Uh, 2021 is our year of, um, not really our year of excellence, but we're going to be exploring excellence in God. Somebody say excellence in God. Genesis chapter 4 from verse number 1. And then I will take a bit of Hebrews 11, verse 4. Excellence in God. Now, uh, when we call it our year of excellence, it changes meaning uh, from what God 
intended it to be and how God breathed it into my spirit. It is our year of excellence in God, which means that our efforts at excellence are geared uh, towards uh, God, towards God, which means a better and in-depth analysis of God. And since you can't analyze God, I can only say an effort to experience God in a deeper and in a better way. That could be uh, the summary of this. 2021, excellence in God. Now, Adam knew his wife, uh, Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore a kind and said, I have acquired a man uh, from the Lord. I've acquired a man. I love that statement. I've acquired a man from the Lord. So even as you pray for a, wa for a child, as Moses will be praying for children, he must also make effort in acquiring. I have acquired a man from God. Now, we know God is the one that gives, but we have to acquire. There's that process of acquiring. Mama, look the other way when I say that. Now, Adam knew his wife, Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore kind and said, I have acquired a man from God. Uh, Pastor David is also looking at his wife and she's looking the other way. I've acquired a man from the Lord. That's for some other time. Then she bore again this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Uh, Abel also, actually the correct pronunciation is not Abel, is Abel. Somebody say Abel. But we can use Abel, because that is what we were taught in school. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. The reason the Lord respected it, it was fast. Somebody say fast. I tell your neighbor, God has this way, this thing with respecting fast. In other words, God respects priority. Ladies and gentlemen, God does not just respect everything. God respects priority. When you talk about fast, you're talking about priority. You're talking about uh, 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 just fast as it is there. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. This is very painful. And Cain was very angry. It happens even in the church today. When God accepts something from a brother and your own is not accepted, the correct response is that you'll be angry. But he did not respect Cain and his offering, and Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. Hebrews 11 verse 4. The writer of Hebrews begins to explain to us at the nature of what Abel did that made God respect it. There are things men do that attract the respect of heaven. One of the things I pray for you to happen in your life this year is that may God respect what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, we serve a God that is not only calling us to respect him, we serve a God that respects our way of treating him. There's a way we treat God that God will respect it. And when God respects how a man has treated him, I think I want that. I want to do some things that God will respect. Now look at this. So the writer of Hebrews, they believe a number of times, they tell us it wasn't the Apostle Paul, but when I look at the nature of writing, the depth of writing, the style of writing, the wisdom that is oozed in the writing, I can only attribute it to one Apostle called Paul. Now Paul writing, he says, by faith. Now we can get a number of reasons why God respected this man's offering. One, it was done by faith. Faith is what commands the respect of heaven. The just of the Lord shall live by faith. When you begin to show faith, heaven begins to respect you. Unbelief is the insult that men give to God unknowingly. Unbelief. When Moses began to tell God, where will we get meat? God got angry. Because you don't believe him. When you don't believe God, you make heaven angry. 
The only thing that God wants to see from you is your madness in him. That you need to be so convicted about God that when God looks at it, he's happy. Unbelief makes God angry. Your inability to believe that a Rolls Royce is coming makes heaven angry. To believe more in a curse than you believe in the goodness of God makes heaven angry. There are people who believe there's a generational curse, but they don't believe there's a generational blessing. Listen, I want to believe more in a generational blessing than in a generational curse. So, one of the reasons that made God respect the giving of Cain, not Cain, of Abel, pastor was faith. And Baba, you don't need faith for what you can easily do. <laughs> if you can do it, you don't need faith. For Abraham to believe that at a hundred, he was going to get a baby. And Sarah was going to be pregnant. Baba, it's not easy. For Mary to believe that a virgin that has never known a man can become pregnant, it was not easy. How do you become pregnant with high men? She asked the angel, how shall this be? Ah, God, you are mad. Unataka niambia uniangalia ngi vile natembea? Sijaguzwa na mwanaume? I don't know a man. And you are telling me that I will be pregnant? Then God said, when you are asking how it shall be, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. And the power of the highest will overshadow you. So that thing that is coming to you this year is not of this earth. It is a product of faith and the word. And Mary said, let it be to me according to your word. Ladies and gentlemen, you need faith for that which is not easy. So now we look at the reason. One of the reasons why God respected Abel's giving, it was done by faith. When God sees a man beginning to build by faith, heaven begins to flex their, flex their muscles. And you, Gabriel, get ready. We have seen an opportunity to demonstrate who we are. A man has stepped out by faith. When a man steps out by faith to marry, heavens get ready to help him. Because heaven does not help men of unbelief, but men of faith. Let me not go much into faith. So number one, it was done by faith. I want to give things I need faith to give. There are things if you will do for God, you need faith to do them. By faith, Abel offered to God. Now here's it. A more excellent. Somebody say more excellent. I didn't hear you say more excellent sacrifice than kind. So we understand the second reason why God accepted it, it was excellent. That tells you God does not accept ugly things. <laughs> it was not just excellent, it was more excellent. A more excellent sacrifice than kind through which we, he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and through it being dead, the man is still speaking. Raise your hands and say, Lord, may I see your respect this year. I, I didn't hear you say it, Lord, may I see your respect this year. I have done things before, but Lord, 2021, help me do things that will attract the respect of heaven. I have worshipped you before, but this year, 2021, help me do things, worship you in a way that will attract your respect. God respects what men do. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm struck by the word excellent. Leave faith out of it. I'm struck by the word, it was a more excellent sacrifice. The Greek word there. <laughs> It's very hard to pronounce. So leave it out of it. Now he gave unto God a more excellent sacrifice. Giving us the word excellence. Somebody shout 2021 excellence in God. Excellence in God. So ladies and gentlemen, the sacrifice was more excellent than that of Kind. We are not even told that the one for kind was, an, was a sacrifice. 
but the one for Abel was a more excellent sacrifice. We're getting the word excellence there, which means it was the best. It was the greatest in degree. It was the greatest in excellence. In other words, it was more in quality. Ladies and gentlemen, a few things I want you to pick about God is that God looks at quality. Let nobody deceive you. Ya kwamba pastor, usi ya galia hivo, najua mungu wa meikubali. We serve a God that looks at quality as well. May the quality you provide, the, 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 the quantity that you provide to God be easier change. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about excellence, we are talking about how much of it are you doing? How much of it are you presenting? It was more in quantity. Before we go to quality, it was more in quantity. God looks from heaven and is able to see more and is able to see less. May God grace you for more in the year 2021. I pray you will not just be in the same place where you have been. May God grace you to do more in the year 2021. So it was more in terms of quantity. Then it was more in terms of quality. When we talk about excellence, we don't only talk about quantity, we also talk about quality. There's what we call quality giving. The man God gave, the man gave God, the man God gave, the man gave God quality. This tells us something about God. We serve a God that is more attracted to quality. Can I elaborate? That could mean that, George, when we are playing this thing from Cog, there's a way heaven dances than when we are playing it from PSR. Please sit down. That God, have you ever listened to the keys of a Cog? Let me talk to Liki, he's the one who knows these things. Liki, you know the keys of a Cog? Motif. The keys can make you dance, even if you didn't want to dance. Some of you think you are gloomy. Wait until we bring Cog here. Wait until we bring motif here. Wait until we add some things to the music. There is a way you don't know when you begin to kick. Because God is attracted to quality. Let me add this. There is a way heaven claps when heaven sees you in a seven series white. When you are playing, <laughs> when you are playing gospel rumba in a seven series, you don't need a remote. Just point a finger and things change. There is a way. Oh boy, oh boy. Somebody say excellence 2021. So this tells us, Mama, that God looks at quality. He's a God of quality. Look at heaven. Look at the streets of heaven are coated with gold. God telling you, I'm a God of quality. There's something about our God. Let no one deceive you that God is interested in what a thief cannot steal. That you are holier. That some of us, muna potu na ibi, tuna wako pa baba, tiyo mana tujari, hajari vile tuna kaa, hajari vile tuna vaa, tuna jari baba, na baba na tujari, na tuna heta biguni, ukifika biguni utafaint, wewe wewe unaongea ivo ivo. Utafaint huko. He's a God of quality. I came to challenge you that this year when you come to the house of God, let your neighbors know the quality that you place on your God. Let your neighbors know you value going to the house of God more than Christmas. Go and do a facial. Don't come to the... Oh, let me leave that because we get to say, Pastor, we get to say, The spirit is willing but the pocket is weak. No, it is an attitude that you must wear. Say when I'm going to the house of my God, niki kanyaga kuna kanyagika, niki enda kuna endeka, niki smile kuna smileika. Now na chukua min tu na ongeza kuamdomo kiambia neighbor, neighbor. He feels like what is that smelling in your mouth? Yes, tell me again. It's called quality. Sio kuabudu mungu kinua mi kono hivi, makuapa. Makwapa is speaking in tongues. No, we don't want your makwapa to speak in tongues. We want you to speak in tongues. Oh, oh, Baba Nesamehe. Sijakata mas, watu maskini ni mekatatu maskini. Because you are a God of quality. Usiangalia chini mimi ndiyo naongea. He's a God of quality. A more excellent sacrifice. It was exceeding sacrifice. It was more. God looks at our more. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it was greater than what Cain presented to God. God looks at the degree of greatness that we offer to him. God looks at how great what you are bringing to him is. God looks at the greatness of your service. Kopendwa, we must go beyond. God loves it when we go beyond. I told you a uniform more than ashes. Since Abraham was baptized, the Lord is coming back again. Our ashes are looking like orphans, like they were rejected. Wait until I join the ushering department this year. I'm going to head the ushering department. Wengi wenu mtakimbia kuja kujoin your department. Just look at me like a departmental store manager. God, <laughs> God loves it when it is greater than others. The offering of kind of, of Abel, sorry, was an offering or was something given to God that went beyond the limit. God wants us to break limits. There are limits of men. When you talk about excellence, we are talking about a man has gone beyond the limits of men. There are limits in families. When we talk about a child of excellence in a family, is a child that has gone beyond the limits of that family. 2021, you will go beyond where you have always been. You will do more than you have always done. I wimbo moja kila wakati. Mpaka tumekujua nayo. You have to go beyond. Wacha kutudanganya. At any time, ukisimama we ni ba. Aba, mimi niko apa, niko apa, apa na go beyond. Kwa ajili yako. Spi, ukiona baba ni kama ajibu nangia kwa spirit. Spi, unatesi kama spirit atakakubali. Spirit, I am here. Why don't you go there? I am here. It's a powerful song. But the mindset behind it. Halafu na mdanganya kwa jili yake. Hapana, saa zingine tuko hapa kwa maana tuna kog. Tukipata kog, we'll go beyond our dimension of dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about excellence, we're talking about breaking limits. That God loves it when we come to him beyond how other men come to him. That God looks at how men come to him. That God looks at our speed, how we come to him. That when men are coming to God, God watches how men are coming to God. And God loves that man that will come to him more than the others are coming. He gets the endorsement of God. It means we have to go and think outside the box. Abel gave an offering that was outside the box. One of the simplest meanings of the word excellence is simply to overdo. Don't just do it, overdo it. Because man's extremity is God's opportunity. God has no room for ordinary things. Second service will bless you. When you open up God and dissect God, and put God on an operation table, God has no room for ordinary things. There's nothing ordinary in God. A God who visits a man and a man cannot talk anymore. He has come from serving God. Just say, good evening, Zechariah. My husband, what are you taking? What happened to you? He touched me. What kind of a God is this? At where tangu anze kukuguza, hakuna kitu mebadilika. Bado unaimbanga tukila wakati. Nataka uguzo wa baba. Nataka uguzo wa baba. Nataka. Bado unataka tu. Ujaguzwa. When this God touches you, something stops speaking. When this God touches you, your voice ends and your life begins to speak. Zechariah came from the temple. The man cannot talk. The sign is talking. The day the baby was born, they had to give him a piece of paper. 
He wrote the name of the baby. They were to name him Zechariah. He said, no, this is a limit-breaking baby. He's not Zechariah. He's John, that means Jehovah shows favor. And he wrote it on a piece of paper. And as soon as he did that, he opened his mouth and he spoke. God will squeeze you that your life will be speaking. He wants our lives to speak. He wants us to go beyond limits. God wants us to go beyond the ordinary. Somebody shout, I take that, I take that, I take, I take that. Saloon yako yawezi kwa inakaa. Watu wakimaliza kunyolewa, wanaanza kukworol na we. Unaniyosha kichwa aje buwana. Simama vizu. Who is coming back to that salon again? Jehovah overdue. And he's Jehovah overdue to men who overdo. Excellence is to overdo it. Which means men do it but the way you have done it. What do you finishing your work? Na unaziona hapo inje, hata kuna senator mwingine alienda ashonewe nguo. Akapeana hiyo nguo inye nataka ashonewe. Ilipo malizika akaiva. Akaweka hapo. What you get versus what you ordered. <laughs> Any one of you here. God is coming on you. To give you the grace to overdo. The same. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something about excellence. Men can wear suits, but when you wear it, lasima yangali me visa. Ay, na yini. There are people who wear clothes, and there are people that clothes wear them. Pastor, na ogea people weki ni wetu ni file tu watuna. Mutu wa excellence akiingia tapa kando ya bara bara. A chote kitu apu. Avai Sunday. Because it's not about the cloth. It's about the one wearing it. It's about the spirit on the man wearing it. Ati pastor mimi zazo kiogea hivo. Na misi na pesa ya kuwasha guo. Ujaona Sebastian hapa. We negotiate the price with him. Listen to me. You have to overdo it. People research before they present. But you overdo it. Excellence is to God overdoes things. He's called Jehovah overdue. That's why he said, and to him that is able to do far much exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all that you can ask or think according to the power God does beyond his overdue. If the spirit of God rests on you, you will overdo things. Some are only over stingy. Say, Pastor, it is true as you are saying. My stinginess is another level. Pastor, Mimi says it all. I am over stingy. <laughs> but God is over generous. Jehovah overdue. Ladies and gentlemen, it means that Abo overdid it. God loves it when we overdo it. Take your voice to a place where people talk about soprano. But they say this is the twenty-five. This is the latest soprano in the market. No man can hit it. People play keys. People play guitar. Overdo it. Watch a guitar yonge. Others play guitars. Daudi alikuwa kiguza yake mashetani na toroka. Haja ongea. Guitar na fukuza mashetani. Kuna muziki ukisikiza at 150 kilometers per hour. You can forget you are on this earth. Because men have overdone. You have to overdo it. <laughs> Somebody say excellence. I didn't hear you said 2021 excellence in God. It is called overdue. You've got to overdo it. God is not attracted to things that are underdone. He's attracted to things that are overdone. Ulipima mjengo, watu wakasema, hey! Wakasema kama sayo, wamesema, hey! Naongeza wakufe. It's called overdue. Say 2021, I will overdo some things to the glory of God. It means going over, going beyond the limits. In your limit, unapita hapo. 
What wanaomba wanaomba. I was telling pastor after we had six hours of prayer here. I was telling pastor when, when, when we travel or my normal prayer times, when we travel and we go for a mission, the head of my security has to always talk to the hotel and tell them if he does not call you to clean the room, don't go there even if it is five. Because there is prayer. Haba, baba, haba, ba, two hours you are done, you are preparing. But when we travel, I do nine hours. God is attracted to things that are overdone. Kamale, to Kamaliza, six hours. You start your own three hours. You want to be ahead of men. Well, you kwa kipita mtiani shuleni. They were known for going to preps two hours early. While others are playing, they have pulled their desk somewhere under a tree. They are overdoing it. It rewarded them. Wengine wenu mwenye milikuwa munangojia kengele. There are people who are enjoying math double lessons. There are those when it is math double lessons, they have to swallow tablets. <laughs> you have to overdo. Jehovah is Jehovah overdue. I was watching something on Facebook of this man who sells oranges. Na meva suti. Na kapiga perfume. Ukiangalia viatu zake na meva miwani. Na mweka mziki kwa hiyo mkukoteni yake. Anapo tembea na hizo machungwa. Na anapenda country music. How many of you help me see that man? He's listening to country music while he's pushing the mkukoteni. Machungwa zake zinaisha kama wengine bado wanasema kuja ununue kuja ununue pite hapa ununue zake zimeisha Don't dress like a grandmother then try to force the favor of God on it Yakoba busi ni agalie hivi favor haijalishi nimevaa aje favor haijalishi nakaa aje favor wengine hata egawaje atuja brush meno favor kwenda huko favor gani hiyo You can't dress like a chimpanzee and, and force the favor of God on it. It's a favor. Overdo it. Sijasema wende onyoe hairstyle ngine mpaka saa tukikuangalia. Unasema papa, Jehovah overdo. I didn't say that. Abo Offer to God an over exaggerated sacrifice. When Solomon was, pre was dedicating the temple to God, the Bible says the gifts of Solomon could not fit on the altar. That's the day a man's sacrifice was bigger than the altar. The man overdid it. Jehovah overdo. Don't stay there and complain. There are days I finished 40 days. I saw no change. I began another one. It's overdue. We don't pray for answers. Answers find us praying. <laughs> we are not praying for change of levels. Change of levels will happen while we are praying. We will not even notice it. We are not giving to attain prosperity. It will come. We will not notice. We are still at it. Jehovah Vadu. Tell your neighbor excellence. 2021. When we talk about excellence, we are talking about the fact that there is class, but you outclass the class. Excellence is outclassing the men of class. When men of class are paraded, you are out of that class, yet you still have a class. It's called excellence. When you write a report for your boss, he says, write it a second time. I just enjoy reading your reports. You greet a brother and say, greet me again. <laughs> there are sisters that went, <laughs> oh boy. Let me tell you one truth. There are churches you visit and you want to go back again. The way the has greeted you. There are churches you visit and you wish there is a door from the backyard. So that when you come, you come through the door and sit down. Because the usher is telling him. <laughs> 
Even me, I'm not coming back again. No matter how anointed your pastor is, if you receive me like that, I'm not coming back again. There is class, but you outclass the men of class. That was the man Solomon. The queen of Sheba saw the arrangement of the table. Please put it there in good news translation. This was a queen. Mama, this is her, her royal highness. She's in control of a nation, of a kingdom. She has come to see another man in control of a kingdom. This is a president has visited a president. How many of you saw our president looking at the beast, but they didn't allow him to get in? Even though he's also a president, <laughs> this particular one, halikuwa nakula tunamacho, the secret service, the way they were looking at him. You are a president. Kuna maraisi, kuna maraisi. Excellence is outclassing the men of class and creating your class. We didn't deny they are men of class. They are there. But you are class. Watu wanauza matunda. Lakini matunda zako. Vile na pakejiwa na Soviet. You are selling Oranges on the street. Na unaongeza Soviet. Na unamuambia uma kidogo mependa. Thank you. Some people what is killing your business is not the orange you are selling. The attitude selling the orange. Alafu unaongezea na favor. The favor of the Lord. Unaangalia wenye wananunua machungwa kama kuenda huko. Kibali itatoka wapi. Look at this. The queen of Sheba heard of King Solomon's fame and she traveled to Jerusalem to test him with difficult questions. She brought with her a large group of attendants as well as camels loaded with spices, jewels, and a large amount of gold. When she and Solomon met, she asked him all the questions that she could think of. Look at verse number two. He answered them all. There was nothing too difficult for him to explain. Verse number three. The queen of Sheba had Solomon's wisdom and saw the palace he had built. Nigeria is called palace. It is palace. And saw the palace. She used to hear, now she saw. The palace that he had built. She saw the food that was served at his table. The living quarters of his officials. Not Solomon's, li we live alone. Where the officials of Solomon were living. The organization of his palace staff and the uniforms they were wearing. The clothing of their servants who waited on him at feasts and the sacrifices he offered in the temple. It left her breathless and amazed. She said to the king, what I heard in my own country about you and your wisdom is true. I did not believe what they told me until I came and saw for myself. I had not heard of even half your wisdom. You are even wiser than the people say. How fortunate and those how fortunate are those who serve you who are always in your presence and are privileged to hear your wise sayings. Praise the Lord your God. He has shown how pleased he is with you by making you king to rule in his name because he loves his people Israel and wants to preserve them forever. He has made you their king so that you can maintain law and justice. She presented to King Solomon the gifts he had brought, almost five tons of gold, a very large amount of spices and jewels. There have never been any other spice as fine as that that the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Please, when the woman saw with her eyes, she's a president. But now a president is admiring a president. Excellence is outclassing the class. Please write it down. It is outclassing the class. It is outdistancing the fastest runners. Excellence is Eliud can run. 
but we have never seen speed like this. Excellence is outmatching the most put together men. It is outshining the brightest. It is surpassing the best. It is called excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, God is keen with quality. God is keen with quantity. God is keen with the things we do that have to go beyond limits. God is king that we do things beyond how they are done. God wants us to overdo. Presidents built. Solomon overbuilt. Those who serve in state house dress well. The servants of Solomon outclassed them. People give sacrifices. The queen of Sheba looked at the sacrifices that Solomon offered. They were beyond. Can I hear an amen? Raise your hands and say excellence in God. Excellence in God. I didn't hear you. Raise your hands again and say excellence in God. Excellence in God. Excellence in God. Whatever I do will have a touch that is unusual. That is what we call excellence. One of the things you need to note down is that God is also keen with measures. Something about God. Luke 6, 38. Look at this. Luke 6, 38. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. And running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you give, it will be measured back to you. There is something God is keen with. It is called measure. God looks at dimensions and capacity. The dimension you give God is the dimension you get back. The dimension you give God is the dimension you get back. The capacity you allow God in your life is the capacity you will function and operate in. God looks at capacity. God looks at estimations. God looks at amounts. God looks at degrees. These musicians will tell me and will agree with me that some of the best musicians we have spend the most of time grooming themselves. Some of them literally live in the studio. A number of them have gadgets in the house. Some have furnished. They can't build a house without having a studio within. It is their life. Most footballers that I know have tennis courts and gyms in the house because that is their life. You can't become good at what you do at some times. It has to be your life. You can't. You can't. It doesn't work like that. God is keen with the amount of time you give something. The amounts you give into something. The time that you create for something. God looks at amounts and God looks at degrees. For Samuel 2 verse number 30, God is keen with this thing called honor. God is keen with it. Just imagine. That should tell you that God is not attracted to just anyhow things. Look at it. Part 2 of it says, Those who honor me I will honor, and those who despise me will be lightly esteemed. If you never invest in honoring God, Forget it. God is saying, nothing just happens. You invest in me, you will see results. The way you handle me, I look at it. The kind of things you do for me, I look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, God is keen with dimensions. God is keen with capacity. God is keen with bounds. God is keen with estimations. And God is keen with amounts and degrees. A man cannot fast for 40 days. Another one fasts for two days. And God takes it like, it doesn't matter, I am the Lord. No, no. He gives attention to capacity. Our levels of respect and the way we recognize God will chart the course when it comes to how we live. God will never allow what you don't honor, honor your life. That's why he had respect on the offering of Abel. Why? Because it was excellent. God respects excellence. 
He has respect for it. He respected the offering of the Why? Because it was excellent. So God respects excellence. Last but not least, God is keen at how people do things. Mark 12, 41 to 44. God is keen. Can you imagine that while music is going on and you just came, you didn't prepare, God watches it. That what you don't treat with, with dignity and respect, God will never allow reward you. God will be the one that will not allow it reward you. God does not make up for the laziness of a man. You can't pray for 20 minutes, you go and look for a very big juice. A super loaf, half now, now, like a blue band, now, half now, like a kwa kit. By the way, if you have not prayed, the grace of God is sufficient. God is looking at you, <laughs> he's watching that attitude. <laughs> he's, when a man is pushing one hour, he's, he's pushing two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, God is watching. You can't rob God. You can't outsmart God. And you can't confuse him somewhere. That Lord, there were four hours when it was 30 minutes. He's very keen. That's why now, before we come to this, the Bible says, Galatians chapter 6, verse number 7, the Bible is very clear that some of us have always tried to deceive God. Ati mungu si hivo, nilikuwa ni meomba ki moyo moyo five hours. Lakini lea kusikia ndiyo ni meweka 30 minutes ndiyo mesikia sasa mungu. Lakini lea ki moyo moyo ilikuwa five hours. And God is saying, you are lying. You can't deceive me. No. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Now listen. You can't deceive God. You are the one that can deceive yourself. Do not be deceived. Okay? God is not. Uh -huh. Whatever a man puts into it is what a man will get out of it. God looks at your passion for ministry. God looks at how you are stretching out. God looks at the price you are paying. God looks at the efforts you are making. And he allows rewards to come in, juxta, in, in direct proportion to those efforts. When a man is making efforts, God is watching it. So don't deceive yourself. That will yomba yaki moyo moyo ati will yukuwa na ota kiwa na omba. So usiku mzima ni meota ni kioba. So njyo ni kasema ni malizie tu na 30 minutes habuana naelewa. Then he will also bless you the whole night in the dream. And then give you 30 minutes of real blessing. A brother said I dreamt last night that I bought a new car. Today I want to sleep very early so that I can drive it. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> That's how many believers are. Big in the dream, nothing in the physical. Because God rewards effort. Give me the message translation of Galatians chapter 6, verse number 7. Oh, glory to God. Don't be misled. No one makes a fool of God. What a person plants, he will harvest. What a person plants, he will harvest. Don't try to think God can be fooled. You are praying 30 minutes, but 8 hours in the dream. You'll be good in the dream eight hours. But in real life, 30 minutes. God watches what we do. Somebody say, I hear that. I take that. I'm going to overdo in this new year. Can I hear an amen in the house? Say it. I hear that. I take that. This year, I will overdo what I normally do. Overpray. Overgive. If you're not careful, the only thing added to 20 is one. That should preach a lot of things to you. Your height has not changed. The loan you are paying last year has not gone. You have to face the, the, the challenge of change. Ministries don't grow. They are grown. Prosperity doesn't fall from mango trees. I receive I receive. I take. Hi. Amen. Then Christians will be very prosperous because the kind of amends Christians say 
The Bible says the promises of God are yeah and amen. Yeah for Americans. Amen for Africans. Call for seven roof tearing amens in Africa. Amen. 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 Wonderful. After amen, get something to menno until it works. God is keen at how people do things. Luke 12, 41 to 44. Look at this. Glory to God. God will look at what I do and respect it. That's what I'm teaching you. Do, do, look, 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 look quickly, quickly. 12. Now Jesus sat opposite the treasury and saw how people put money into the treasury. Some people think that when God sees money, God runs away. Jesus came to church and wanted to find where people's hearts were and he sat next to the offering bag. One of these days, I'll start carrying offering bag, give him time. Opposite the treasury. He, know, he knew where people's hearts are, the treasury. And so how the people put money into the treasury. And many who are rich, walikuwa naweka nyingi. That was even better. Today, many who are rich give change. Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites. There are many things I can tell you about this woman. Despite the fact that she didn't have a husband, she still went to give. Despite the fact that she was poor, she still went to give. When you were leo, pastor, she was a widow. She, do you remember the widow of a prophet that ran to another prophet? The prophet did say, Oh, Mama, what are you doing? I need to make you a baba. Prophet Ali Mwambia, when it comes to breaking the yoke of poverty, it matters not whether you are a widow or not. What do you have in your house? That is the only place where God does not sympathize because you are a widow. What do you have in your house? Man of God, I don't have anything except a little bottle of oil. The man of God say, go and lock yourself in the house. Borrow vessels. Do something. You are a widow, but do something. This is the year we must help widows do something. Not just give them a sack of rice. They must do something. A widow that is below 60 must do something. Don't let people threaten you. She was a widow. But she said, the way out of poverty, I must drop something there. The best way to help poor people and widows is not just to give them food is to help them build something for themselves. And God is anointing me to do that. You understand? When you start anything for them, you must monitor it. Don't let them use I'm a widow to con you. Look, look at this. I know you don't like that. And I'm saying this as a giver. I have so many widows that I help. But this is the truth. Even my mother is a widow, by the way. So, Sinilete. My mother is a widow. How many of you know that there's a way widows can play you? Akaivi. Apakusema chosi mhoja hivi. Mulise mamani nini. Stop it. I've learned 
if you are going to help people, you must be firm. You must demand records. You must engage them to do something. A widow who can still do something, let her do something. A widow that is below 60 and has children. Look at this. Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites, which make quadrants. Verse number 43. So he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all those who have given to the treasury. But this is the message that God looks at what we give. And at the end of it, God is able to tell who has given more and who has given less. In other words, God watches what men do. The widow gave her all. Mama, you know what it means? That God is not attracted to some. God is a God of, I want it all. When you give me your all, you get my attention. It gives you something about God. God does not just want you to minister. He wants your life as a sacrifice. He wants you. He wants everything. They put in out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had. She didn't claim, I'm poor, I can't do this. Out of her poverty, she put in all out of poverty. She gave her all out of poverty. This tells us something about God. Last but not least, this is what excellence does. The impact of excellence in God. This is it. Number one. Abel obtained a witness. He obtained a witness. In other words, some things don't just come. They are obtained through your excellence. There are doors that excellence opens. When you decide to overdo, there are doors that open up to you. There's a place in ministry that does not open up to everyone. It opens up to men who have overdone, who are, who are overdoing what others are taking for granted. There's a place in grace and the blessing of God that does not open to every man. It opens to a man who has decided to go overboard in doing the same thing. He obtained witness. Hebrews 11 verse 4. He obtained witness. Some things don't just come. They are obtained through your excellence. His excellent sacrifice attracted a witness from God. Ladies and gentlemen, God does not handle us the same. So how are you? They are obtained. The man gained witness. He attained it. Ah, he acquired it. There are things that are earned. There's a place in ministry that is earned. Don't always, when you see a man operating in a certain realm, don't be quick to say, hey, grace, grace, grace. Ah, ah. <laughs> Some things you push. Una skuma mpaka ifunguke. Una gonga mpaka kwe na witness. Una sukuma mpaka itendeke. There's a place. Pastor Ruth, you will tell me this, that when you really want to be good with your voice, there is so much sacrifice. There are things, the other day you were telling me you were looking at one of the worshippers and you told the worshipper, what is this that you are eating? Because I can't get your keys very well. And the person said, it is true. There's a sacrifice. Vile soda na kuanga tamu. Na angali anga tuna macho. Sajigine ni kiangalia soda. The way the horse drinks it. Unaona vile del monte na kuanga tamu. Na yagali yaga na macho hivi. Na kodolea macho kodo. Del monte. There's only one soda I can touch and very little at the bottom of the glass. It's called stone. Very little. Sukar. Ah, Galiaga Sukar. Hey, na sema watu wanaifura. Kwanza wakati ule unafunga, di watoto wanakuja na mkate na blue band. Wanapiti hapa sema, Daddy, good morning. Pastor David told me one time he was fasting. Around Sasaba, wakafurai maini kwake. Maini was me. 
Anasema jioni ilikuwa mbali that day. Nikamwambia man of God, he said, "Papa, that day, hey, nilikasirika. Kuna gharama baba." Kuna gharama mtu wa Mungu. Kuna gharama. Haikuji tu. Kuna gharama. Na Mungu anaangalia gharama. Mungu anatazama gharama. Na kuna wengi hawataki kulipa gharama. Mdomo ni pere 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 pere. They know everything about other people except what is wrong with them. You know why I don't criticize people? It's the day I realize there's more than enough to criticize about myself. So I spend most of my time criticizing myself. Because this is not where I'm supposed to be. There's so much that is wrong with me that I want God to put right. And I concentrate on that. Number two. Abel acquired divine attention. He acquired a witness. The man gained a testimony. An evidence could be seen over his life. Testimonies don't happen because God has decided. Men build their testimony. 2021, you will overdo it and you will build a testimony. I don't like your amen now. I said you will overdo it and you will build a testimony. Butchari yako ndiyo watu wataonge. What does it cost to take a quarter a quarter kilogram of meat na ukate pieces ndogo 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 na kachumbari na uweke hapo na kwetu na moto inaichemsha inaichemsha Ka hot pot kingine yenye nawekwa mshuma pale chini inakachemsha client akiingia sanitizer safi smile nayo ukamuonjesha na ka toothpick pa akaonja akaangalia na vile nyama yako iko displayed that butchery will become a testimony. Sio kukata nyama na unatukana watu. There was a butcher man in our village called Onjech. He was called Njejira. His name was Njejira. Onjech, Onjech Japiko. He was the only man that bought a motorbike during those days. And he used to insult his clients. It was the only butchery. So one mama loved bones because that is what she could afford. When Onjech would see her coming say, "Ai jo wa Rachoke Chabiru. He named the client Rachoke. Yani a woman of bones. You don't do that as a businessman. You overdo. What about a day you show up to visit your clients? Muko salama. Sija kujia vitu. Sija kujia kuleta biyashara mpia. Mwaka mpia meanza. Sija waona. Nika sema tushikane mikono tuombe. Na shukuru kwa jili ya biyashara. Muli nipatia 2020. Muko salama. Muko sawa. Na nilisema nikikuja niletee watoto kapele mende. Asante ni sana. Nani anakuacha ni nani? Wewe unakaa njalme kila wakati. Unakaa tu angecha angecha. Yatu. Things don't just happen. Hautaolewa tu na hiyo smile uko nayo mbaya. Kuna kaanga tu umekasirikia mpaka maubiri. Umekasirikia kila kitu. Umekasirikia everything about. People are dancing. You, you are not happy. Why is she dancing like that? Eh? Na huyu ananiangaliaga aje unaniangaliaje tuko kwa nyumba ya Bwana. Na wewe ulimuonaje kama hauko na muangalia. This a lady, a very good daughter, but I told her if you don't change this attitude you'll never be married. Every time people are dancing alikuwa anaangalia mama. So siku moja kaniandikia I don't like the way mama is looking at me it's like she does not bless me every time she looks at me I don't like. <laughs> if people are looking at you bad, look at them with a smile. This is a smile that cannot be resisted. Ndugu anaendelea kuja kanisani kila Sunday kwa sababu ya vile alipokelewa na Asha. Akikuta huyo Asha hayuko kwa mlango, anapiga maraundi kwanza mpaka huyo Asha kuje kwa mlango. Ndio anarudi. Ndio apokelewe hivi. Because huyo ndio humpokea. Wewe kazi yako ni kuharibu biashara alafu una 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 unaweka fever. Unachukua mafuta unamwagia biashara. Fever, fever. Unamwaga mafuta kwa mkono, unamwaga kwa kichwa. Unaanza kusalimia na hiyo clients. Namsali, anakuambia good morning unamwambia fever. Anasema, "Ai, mrudisha change na mafuta." Hii attitude ya mafuta ta lazima ikuaje. In the year 2021, somebody say I will overdo and I will experience the favor of God in my life. Can I hear somebody shout hallelujah in this place? Raise your hands and say I receive the grace to overdo it. In the 
area of ministry and calling and operation and function in the kingdom of God, I receive the grace to do it and I receive the grace to function in it well, I will not be the same. I will be a testimony. Your business will be a testimony. Your life will be a testimony. Your house will be a testimony. Wherever you go, there shall be a testimony. He obtained witness. How? By excellence. Back those days. Tukiwa kwa ulimwengu, hata mtu aliimba wimbo. Asema excellence to Sofia. Those of you who are born around that time you understand. When you reach my age you understand some songs. Excellence. I pray for you. There's so much you can change about yourself. Hallelujah. So much you can change. If people look at you na macho mbaya, uangalie na macho nzuri. Pastor Shida ni mahali naishi watu ni wabaya. Kuna mama mwingine hapa akiamuka akienda kwa mfereji pastor. Hata salimie watu, wewe msalimie. Okay, good morning. Ndiye amekupita kama kwenda huko. I know these things. Ukishapitwa your ego begins to say, si nilikuambia, hii mafundisho ya Eloi fanyagi kazi. Nilikuambia. <laughs> nilikuambia. No, now that time it is your ego talking. Because when you have the beautiful Christian character, you refuse to be provoked. You have made up your mind. It is your year of excellence in God. I will do it in a way I've never done it before. And when you do it in a way you've never done it before, what happens is he obtained the testimony. How? By his excellence. Tuangia bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Unaposimama kwa migu yako. Waangalia watatu wanne wasalimie waambie excellence 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 salimie watatu wanne mwambie Mungu ni Mungu wa excellence Mungu ni Mungu wa excellence na wadada nilisema katika hiyo salamu unaweza salimia your husband to be in that greeting you can greet your wife to be in that greeting you don't know the next man that will give you a big business in your life is in that greeting and you just tell them excellence in God 2021 excellence in God 2021 excellence in God 2021 put more effort in it weka weka effort ndani pale do it like you've never done it before overdo it put those hands together one more time and bless the lord how, how excellent is your name oh lord how excellent is your name Oh Lord, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh how excellent, how excellent is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord. How excellent is your name? How excellent is your name?
package you are offering this morning as we give for those who are going home for the after the first service you have your tithes you have your giving offerings you want to lay them on the altar this morning in an excellent manner it is the first sunday of the year how we begin it excellently in the house of the lord lift it up if you have already packaged it in the name of jesus father we thank you for this day thank you for the first sunday of the year how excellence is our portion and we decree lord that as we lay these seeds on the altar your will your grace engulf us this morning and the rest of the year we thank you for the works of our hands are blessed we thank you for every seed we lay on the altar will germinate to the glory and honor of your name in jesus mighty name we pray and somebody said amen if you can do it on the altar i think it will be faster and the lord will bless you i hope those for online you can do so our ashes you have your seed please just lay it on the altar you're offering your giving just lay it on the altar and the lord will bless you